Hey there, this is Akshay Nadan and welcome back to the first part of complete NumPy tutorial series. And in this first part, we are going to see how to import the NumPy library and some of the basic operations. So let's start without wasting more time. And if you are new on this channel, you can like my video, subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on the social media links. So first of all, I am importing NumPy as NP and why I am importing it as NP because I don't want to use a NumPy, NumPy, NumPy everywhere, right? So that's why I am importing this library as NP. Now after importing it, let me run this out. Now what is the difference between Python lists? So you must be aware of Python lists, right? So what is a Python list? So it can store only one dimensional array, only one dimensional data and that data can be of any type. That can be a string, that can be boolean, that can be integer, that can be float. But you can store only one dimensional array. That's the advantage that we get in NumPy. Because there we can store any multi-dimensional arrays, right? One dimensional, two dimensional, three dimensional data we can store in NumPy array. So let me print this list. So you will get one, two, three, four, five. But it is only one dimensional. So now we see NumPy array. So here, this is how you define a NumPy array. So this is the format. I'm I'm initializing a NumPy.array, that is np.array, and I'm giving it a 1D array as the input, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to print it. And I'm storing this array inside a variable called A. Now this is how you initialize 1D array. Now how will you initialize 2D array? You just have to define a numpy, uh, numpy dot array, and inside this you have to define array of arrays, right? So this is array of arrays. This is two arrays, right? Now this is how you define 2D array. Now how will you define 3D array? Here you have to define array of array of arrays, right? This is how you initialize 3D array. Now I'm going to print it, and as you can see, 1D array, 2D array, and 3D array. So this is the format you have to define a NumPy array and it is your choice whether you whether you want to define 1D, 2D or 3 dimensional data, right? Now, this is the function type A and you are going to get the type. So my type of data is A is a NumPy array. So it is n dimensional array. So this is the meaning n dimensional array of NumPy, right? So this is the function that gives me the type of data of A. So it is ND array. Now after this size, Print a dot size, b dot size, c dot size. So what are ABC? ABCs are the one dimensional, two dimensional, and three dimensional arrays. Now I'm going to print their sizes. So let me get, let me print it out and let's see what it gives. 5, 10, and 15. What are these 5, 10, and 15? So, so basically 5, 10, and 15 are the number of elements in those arrays. So size gives me the number of elements. As you can see, 5, 5 elements in A, then 10 elements in B, then 15 elements in C. So this is the function size that gives me the total number of elements in that array. The next function is the shape that gives me the rows, comma columns. So if I'm going to run this function, run this cell, I'm going to get 5, 2, comma 5, 1, 3, and 5. Now what is this meaning? Now it is giving me the rows, comma columns. So 5, my one, di one, my one dimensional array is containing only 5 columns. 2, comma 5 means rows, comma columns. My two dimensional data is containing two rows and five columns. Now this thing means three rows, five columns, and one. That means one array of three rows and five columns. So this means your three dimensional data. So this is the output that we are getting in a dot shape, b dot shape and c dot shape. Now the next function is uh, data type. So d type gives you the type of data present in that arrays, right? So let me print it. So in 64, in 64 and in 64. So now I'm going to change the data type. So here, here as you can see, it is a uh, array and it is containing 4.2, 8.9. That means float. So that means it is going to interpret all these elements as float. So when I'm going to print the data type, that is d type of d array, then I'm going to get float 64. Perfect, right? Now the next function that we are going to see, and this is the last function that we are going to see in this part, is the transpose. So when I'm going to uh, print the transpose of this array, uh, and you are aware of this transpose, right? It is going to replace the rows with columns and columns with replace uh, rows, right? So let me run this. It is going to invert the rows and columns. So as you can see, 1, 6, 11, but basically it was a column, but now it has become a row, 2, 7, 12, 2, 7, 12. It was a column, now it has become a row. Perfect. So this is how you get a transpose in NumPy array, right? So this much for this video. Till the next part, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.